Come on, hit it. Like the top corner's not moving. Just throw your body into it. What? Uh oh. What? Oh, fuck are you. Italian. Yeah, it's Italian. I don't care. The roof is done. The fascia, the corners, they're done. They're being painted because, God forbid, you know, you paint the wrong thing. The fascia's off. One piece is off. Top piece is off. This piece just came off. I'm going to sweep up. Put this up. Someone did it smart. Someone did 4, 8, 12. Because they knew they were buying these. These are four by eights. I had to cut the bottom. Don't ask what that line is. Four. Door. Four. Smart. And the best thing about having the deck, the uh, shed, is that I just laid this piece down, mimic the cut, put it back up. These are three pieces. Four, four, and then like a two. That's it. Then paint it. Keep the top piece there. Get to keep the metal trim there. Okay, it's going to take the light off. And we're gonna roll this shit out. Oh. Taking a break, painting the white stuff like I said. Once you get going, you get going. See you later. Bye bye. Shit down you. <clears throat> Just wanted to show you what it looked like primed. Yesterday, the day before, all these days are very intertwined and like blah Tuesday I told you was the deck and Wednesday was the deck Thursday was this today's Friday it's like seven o'clock in the morning I came out here at six paints not gonna paint itself just wanted to show you that it's gray primer used one full bucket for that that's gonna be the door and then four foot four foot one two and a half that's what these are. You can't see it because they're installed correctly, but they're four by eights and whatever the bottom was as far as, you know, measuring. Uh, so just going to keep going. That paint is over. I got to take that light down, paint around it. Uh, and it looks like I'm going to have to get a full bucket and bang out one full more bucket. And then the lines too. Do, 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 right? The lines could be done with like the residual stuff. Okay, we're just gonna show you what it looks like. Thank you for watching on this shed series, which don't know what it's going to be because I don't remember what I recorded last. Take it easy. Oh, I have some editing to do. <laughs> um, the door is not done, but I'm done. Okay, yes, disregard the stairs, they'll get painted, 
I'll take, you know, a little at a time. The bulk of this, you know, this is what it looks like. I'm going to put the light back, okay? In case you don't know what I'm doing with the door is I'm painting the white part first. Two pieces are going to go right down the middle, right here. Then you're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three. There'll be another hinge right there, and then it'll look like that. And then I have two handles. We'll see how they fit, and that's that. Well, wait, how are you going to... And then there'll be a piece on the bottom. That's going to be a little crooked because the stairs go slope down because the entire yard slopes down. Okay, again, this is how I prepare. You say, well, how do you get the... Wait, how do you fix the door? What do you... How do you do it in the poo poo? Oh, yep. Home Depot. Okay. That is going to be permanent, but it's going to be cut. And I'm going to see if I could put two magnets, one here and one here. Okay? And when you close it, I'm going to have to build it out a little bit. I'll have to see if I have small magnets maybe, but I wanted to, so I'll have to build this out, if you could see. You can't see. Don't worry about it. Or, I could get a latch system, whatever. That is temporary, because that makes me know that the door shuts. Okay. They're just in with little brad nails. This, I'm going to have to shimmy the door. See right here? We'll see. Maybe not. But this is where it gets Italian. Shh. <gasps> shh, 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 shh. Oh, who loves Kitty? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to see if I have putty downstairs. If not, some cork. Make it look twatty. Going to wrap this up. I'm going to come back after the door is done so I'm not closing the video. See you in a couple seconds. And here's the end result of blood, sweat, and tears. <sighs> this is it. This is what she looks like. Okay, bye. Except the stairs. <sighs> you got the flag back. You got the lights back. You got it painted. You have it white. Trimmed. It's very modern looking. In the sense where anyone probably would have purchased it. Painted it or gained it up the way I did. Uh, other than doing a big door. And the door flapping and maybe failing. Really? If it's not a plane, it's these guys. Where are you guys going? Right, bye. Bye. <laughs> I looked up a bunch of ideas on how to do the door. Um, and this is traditionally what I came up with. So, the walls come off. That's one piece. That's one piece. Excuse me, I'm gonna walk and talk. That's one piece. That's one piece. And the last three lines is one piece. That white trim comes off. That white trim comes off. That white trim is two pieces. The front white trim comes off. That white trim comes off. And obviously the old door came off. What that did was one piece at a time is it exposed the structure this was made uh, in place this was purchased at whatever time the flooring God only knows what's under the floor uh, we'll go in in a second even though whatever you've probably seen it and the rest is history one panel goes up at a time and you cut it left you cut it right you make it nice that's all. The door was left 
uh, last. So the hinges and the handles are from the Home Depot. The wood is from the Home Depot and the trim is what was left. They were red, but what was inside is what I had and I, uh, you know, cut them in half and stuff. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, the easy part was putting this stuff back, hammering the nails, putting some cork, and then um, letting it all just dry, and then hitting it with white paint. The door kind of had to go up a little at a time. So you make the top piece, and you shoot a nail, you know, at whatever gauge, 16 or 18. I started. I I, uh, I started with the left. Put a uh, level on it. Go as far as you could go. You know, mentally you have to have just a little carpenter stuff. And then I built this door. This is a four by whatever, 79 inch, whatever it was. But this is definitely a four foot. These panels came by four by eight. Sorry. So this is definitely a four. I cut it in half, I had to trim it, and then everything else kind of happened. I did the left trim, then I did the right trim, then I did these three pieces, and then I put one hinge, but then I put one screw, so then when Jay was here, the door would like sag, and that was it. As, you know, the stairs, you know, we'll see. I'm going to recoup, I might even just go through the entire winter and make this a spring project um, they don't have to come off um, they can come off it'd be easier I'm probably good to take them off I probably power wash them really nice and I was thinking maybe staining them a brown stain they're shot if I really wanted to I can buy wood planks like from the deck video um, they do come off they are tied in though so the four planks could come off but then like the legs so maybe I'll flip them upside down and there's uh, better wood these don't seem to be warped so uh, that's really it this was power washed another time because I knew that I was coming here those were power wash leading around the back uh, something that has nothing to do with the shed. I decided to cut these plants out for the season. And then I decided to get... Uh, these. This is seven bags of Home Depot topsoil. They get two fifty <clears throat> for this. I mean, I know inflation, but I think they were $1. five when I moved in. And I'll be honest with you, it washes away. I don't know where it goes because when I did this... Again, off topic, I just had topsoil, and this was, it, this was nice. I have pictures of this. I have pictures of back there. I never did this, but it just washes away. I don't know. So here's a video. Here's a picture. Today's Saturday, September 14th, 2024 at 8 o'clock in the morning. There was one little thing I wanted to touch upon. Not a big deal. It's very thin here because we walked. It is this piece went out to like here so I shot two nails in there well with a hammer and I cut the circumference you know I cut this you know and my head just stayed because it's already in the ground <clears throat> I said to myself uh, would it be that much to pick it up and bring it there and then I would have this sharp but for right now I had some of these pieces in a box and I kind of, because once you put the dirt there, I don't know how they ever thought that there, the dirt would have just ran into here. So getting back to this is, it needs to be touched up. It's not perfect. You could zoom in and I forgot to paint this, which is some caulk. And you could caulk this line or putty, whatever, whatever. But it is what it is. So how is it opened or how does it stay? Mm. 
she bought she long. So for right now, the right stays because I, whatever, maybe the earth. When it's really windy, the left wants to close. Just bang, bang, it's been windy. So the very first thing I did was because I have kids. Well, when did I do that? <laughs> I just took the nail heads off. Well, this is, you know, right here. And it comes out and they sit like this. So I just took a grinder. I'm going to probably paint this uh, at some point next season. Maybe white. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't have any cans. I have to check the basement. Maybe I have some obscure color from the house. Maybe blue. <laughs> because this is just going to rot. This is just bare wood. So anyway, so we were going back and forth. You can't put anything here because of the lawnmower, the snowblower, and their toys. You, you, you constantly would, you would trip. So Home Depot had this. A dollar ninety-seven or something. These are two separate pieces. I screwed them in. I made them loose. This piece just whatever. I have a light now, which I always did, but JK18 gave me one of these. He gave me this one years ago. I had a light bulb, and now he gave me this one. Thank you much. God bless America. <sighs> so this let me give you. Ah, who loves kitty? You know, yes, maybe one day there'll be a gust of wind and it'll just... But if there is, I'll buy two more, put them here, and put this metal piece. When they give you that, I'll get rid of this nail. I'll put them here and I'll just have two. We'll see. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. This is one of those videos where Jay gets like multiple... Oh! Yeah, I used it. Why am I not using it all the time? Well, it's a plug. Well, why don't you put the plug into the switch? But the do do, hon. I don't need all that light at every second of my life. So we'll shut this. Now the doors can close, <laughs> but they won't leave you in obviously you could push this is the gap that I chose it's like two 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 uh, quarters yes it sits wonky the, the trim sits higher and then the gap excuse me so the good thing is that you're not gonna get locked in it kinda just sits here it's very rudimentary right now it, it's functioning. I think it's actually 95% complete other than maybe painting the inside. Only because, but whatever. I didn't grind the top yet. And then you're like, wow, well, you've grinded this. Why wouldn't you just go to the top? Shut your mouth. So we open the door. Oh, he, uh, okay, so now everybody has watched this video. You're almost done. And you say to yourself, okay, well, what did you do to prevent the doors from opening in the wind? Well, the very first thing I wanted to do was put a magnet here, paint it this color. And Jay says that over time, this is going to get scuffed up. <coughs> Excuse me, scratched, worn out, whatever. And then this thing will just be perfectly painted. There's nothing here. Okay. Then I was thinking, well, what about a hook? But then I'm thinking, at the end of the day, I didn't want anything else on the facade of this. I just want it shut. Well, I have a lot of stuff in this house, so let me improvise. What is that? I know. <laughs> it's just so rudimentary. <laughs> I have EMT straps. And I have rebar. <laughs> and you pick up the rebar with your hand if you're out here for more than five minutes. You drop the rebar. And the rebar prevents the door from swaying. That's a little bit lower because the shed sits lower. And then you take the rebar from here. 
I was going to maybe tape it so the kids, but whatever. If you feel like dropping it, you could drop it, let it sit in the, that's it. And then it won't, it might eventually hit, but for me, that's it. Two pieces of straps that are screwed under the door. The strap is screwed to the door and it sits in the convenient groove of the already natured volume of the scenario. And that's it. That's only if I'm doing stuff, the door needs to stay open, whatever. Ah. So that's going to wrap this up. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. Yep, you gotta pick this up by hand. And you have to place it there. And that's fine. Yes, and it doesn't hit. <laughs> the doors in the wood are fresh, so <clears throat> give it a year or two before you it warps, whether it's warping for good or bad. Today's September, so we might, uh, you know, and this is the shed, not that you care. Again, nothing was ever changed in the shed except the inner walls are now clean. If that makes sense to you. I'm thinking, I'm like, wait, what is this? I'm like, oh, that's the flag. <laughs> These are clean now, you know? Because, you know, they were dirty before, which means nothing, but they're clean now. Good wood. So this is a shed. This is everything. There's nothing to look at. It's a functioning shed. You come here if you want to work. Oh, I have a little screw that goes in here. Oh, this is the, from the power washer that broke. Whee! This is the outside paint. That I used for white, if anybody's interested in saying, wait, what did you use for outside? The pot. Yes, this whole wall, all this stuff, which is only by your hands, everything came out. I, you know, I had to use these two tools for cutting. Pretty much everything stopped the way it was. All the stop, all this stuff came out because once you started taking the walls, everything started shaking. That's it. Everything went back, threw a lot of stuff out, but again, this video is about the shed. Yeah, see the outside? Crappy. We're going to shut the lights. We're going to wrap this up. This is the uh, third project. If you've been watching my channel, the first project was doing the deck boards. The second project, which had nothing to do with me, was having the roof replaced. I gutted the roof, but I didn't replace the roof. And then the third and final installment of 2024, knock on wood, is this masterpiece of a shed. I believe it's 12 by 10. Because when I measured the roof, the roof was 12 by 7. 7 and 7 is 14, but when you take the peak, and you put them together, it's, I think it's 10. I know, I could measure it for you, but I definitely know this is 12. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Well, let's do the math. 4 by 8, 4 by 8, and 3. So, 4 and 4 is 8, 9, 10. So, maybe 10 and a half. So, thank you for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. And that was the summer of George. You should know that reference. Take it easy.